In this presentation, we're gonna add estimated expenses. Get ready, cause here we go with zero. Here we are in our job costing company dashboard. We're gonna consider the estimating process now. Now note, of course, we would typically make the estimate before we would enter the information, but we want now that we have an idea of how the projects work to think about the estimating process within it. So we're gonna go to the projects tab we want to consider the estimates for job number uh, 15, job or project number 15. So I'm going to go into job number 15 here. And what's going to happen is we're going to basically set up the estimating items and then we'll create a quote for with those estimated items. So note what we can do, notice we've entered this information, breaking this information out in more detail for the materials that we have put in place and the overhead, but they're all in kind of the same, in the similar grouping. And that grouping, of course, being the three components of inventory, direct materials, labor, and overhead. So note that we can make our estimate then based on all these component parts. And that, that could be a common way that you can create the estimate. Say, hey, here, here's all the component parts we estimate to be happening. And then you can basically assign out and see what actually happened to all the component parts. Or you can group some of these component parts into categories as well if that's the way you want to make your estimate or quote. So you might make the estimate or quote saying, hey, here's the materials labor and overhead in, in basically a general type of format as well and group this information into more detail. So those, in, in other words, you could give a single one by one item for, for all of the items uh, in a more detailed fashion as we have here or group them together. So to show the grouping, we'll group them together here. We're going to group them together in the, in the three major categories, that being the direct materials, the labor and the overhead when we, when we make our estimate. Now these are the actuals at the end of job 15 or where we stand right now. I'm just going to basically put something around this number for the estimate, right? Our estimate wouldn't be exactly on. So I'm going to say for the, for the materials, we'll say something like, you know, uh, 180,000 and then labor, maybe 90,000 and so on. So I'm going to go back on over here. We'll create our estimate amounts. So I'm going to go back up top and we want to go to add and I want to add an estimate expense. So I want to add an estimate. So I'm going to put the direct materials estimate is going to be the expense amount. I'm going to say the quantity I'm going to keep is one because I'm basically going to put the, the full amount here for the direct materials estimate. I'm going to estimate at 180,000. So I'm going to pick up 180,000 down here. 180,000 basically grouping it all together. And then we have the percent markup so we could put the percent markup here now which is basically we're marking it up by the 30 percent or we can have have these other formats of the pricing i'm going to keep it at just the cost here we can compare basically the actual costs and then talk about the 30 percent markup at the end of the project so i'm going to go ahead and say save i want to say save and add another so we're going to add another and this is going to be the direct labor estimate estimate and then i'm going to say quantity one for the direct labor we're going to be adding the uh let's make it ninety thousand. so i'm going to say ninety thousand. it's going to be our estimate so i'm going to say all right ninety thousand at the estimate and again i'm not going to be doing the percent markup or anything here as well let's add one more for the overhead so i'm going to say overhead so we'll say this is overhead estimates and then we're going to say the price on the overhead i'm going to pick up the let's just make it uh 40 000. so we'll say 40 000 on the estimate and so there we have it and so i'll keep it there as well and then i'm just simply going to say save we can then see the expenses items that have been added for the direct materials uh the direct labor and the overhead they also have this little drop down where if you hit the drop down no tracked expenses un underneath it at this point if you then go down here's all the actual expenses they're all in the untracked category and we can basically put them into the tracked section we could do so a few different ways one you could go to the little three dots over here and you go to this item and edit the item and then we could say I want to track to the estimate and we can pick one of the categories that we have set up. The other way we can track, I'm going to close that out. We'll do this next time is to select a little checkbox and then you want to track down here, track to an estimate. And then you could once again pick the estimate that you want to be tracking to. So we'll take a look at that in more depth next time. I'm going to, I'm going to uncheck these for now. Also note that once this has been set up, you can also uh, set up a quote. So if we went to the quote then, 
Now notice I already set up a quote over here to practice, but I'm going to set up another quote now. So we're going to go up top and we're going to go to the quote up top. We have the project uh, project amount or the tasks and estimated expenses. So we're going to go to the tasks and estimated expenses. This is what we have thus far. We have those estimated amounts for the direct materials, labor and overhead. So then if you have the drop down up top and you can have the individual items. So then when you make uh, the quote, they'll be there individually or you can have uh, combined items combined uh, tasks and combined expenses. So these will help you, you can, you can experiment with these different uh, uh, settings to see what the quote will actually look like, how you're gonna group that quote information. I'm gonna go to the individual items here and then we could say use project name, I'll keep that unchecked right now. And then I'm gonna say, I wanna see the save and open draft quote. So we're gonna be saving this and opening up the quote. Now for me, this is quote number two. So it picked up a quote number two here. And then I'm going to scroll down and here's the customer name. I'm going to change the date. I'm going to bring this back to January. So I'll say this is January. I'll say January 1st. And here's the quote number. So that quote number and you can have a reference and so on. Then if we go down, it picked up the three items, right? It picked up the direct materials, the direct labor and the estimated over. Now note that these are estimated estimates that I made at cost. And then I'm going to add the line item for our quote. I'm going to add the line up line item right here, which is going to be the markup. So then the markup, and then I'll pull up the trusty calculator here. We're going to pull out the trusty calculator because we're going to do some calculating and we're going to say this is going to be 310 and then we're going to mark it up by that 30% times 0.3. So we're going to say 93,000 on the markup. So I'm going to say, all right, so let's bring this down. I'm going to put the one here and this is going to be the 93,000. So there we have it. So we're at the estimate then of the 403 for the quote. So then we can go ahead and send this if we so choose. And it'll help us give us the default kind of uh, message to send this thing out. If we wanted to send it through the zero system, I'm just going to simply say save for the purposes of our uh, practice problem here. We're going to save that. Then we'll go back into our projects. So once saved, we're going to go back into the projects tab. We'll go into the all projects project number 15 and then if we go into our quotes over here we're going to go into our quotes now i have two quotes and then here's our quote the 403,000. and of course we can uh, then open uh, the quote if we so choose so obviously we can make multiple quotes as we go depending on on what's going on you could make a change you could basically change the quotes if you so choose and see the dates and numbering of the quotes that have been adjusted now, next time I'm going to go back over to the first task, uh, first item here. I'm going to, I'm going to say, then we're going to uh, look into the items of uh, tracking these. So these are untracked. Now we're going to track them in accordance with the three categories that we set up up top in the following presentation. So that's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.